So there I was at a friend of mine's house, Jason and Tanya, right? So we're over there, we're cooking. And they, at the time, they weren't too into cooking, and I was. And I would stay at their house a couple days a week. It's a long story. It was a grad school thing, and I was working, and I, did, I lived in Pullman. They lived in Spokane. I worked up here. So a couple nights a week, I would stay at their house. Anyway, so <clears throat> that has nothing. That has everything to do with the story. So they had six cats at the time. Yes, six, right? They were all my friends, and Ashes was my favorite. I loved Ashes. He's no longer with us. But anyway, Ashes was my buddy. Anyway, so I'm in there cooking, and I'm doing something because I like to cook. So I'm in there cooking for everybody making some and ashes had this horrific habit of jumping onto the stove to get whatever you were cooking well i had enough of that so one day ashes jumped and i went <laughs> and i put my hands up before he got to the stove so ashes jumped and i a, a response blocked him which is the title of the video response blocking so a response blocked ashes and prevented him from completing the response, which was to land on the stove in order to get the food right so um, ashes only looked at me in the future when I was cooking and never attempted to jump again. It was one deal and he didn't get hurt. He just jumped square into my hands and jumped onto the, and then fell onto the floor. Flood. Um, he was kind of a big cat. So, beep, right? so response blocking. I blocked him from completing the response in order to earn the reinforcer and it worked. Reduced the behavior.